hands on the B-Link SEI 10 mini PC. So this is a compact mini PC running full Windows 10 and you have some pretty good features which include dual display 4K outputs, lots of upgrade options and it's powered by a 10th generation Core i3 Intel Comet Lake chipset. So first of all, inside the box, you will find a user manual, a mounting bracket, so you can install this mini PC at the back of your television. Now you also got a bag of screws. Now some of these are gonna be for the mounting bracket and the rest of them will be to help you install a two and a half inch SATA drive. You have your SATA cable connection, a long HDMI cable and a short HDMI cable, power supply and the voltage is 19 volts, three amps. And of course the mini PC itself. Now the box is made completely from plastic. You've got a two tone effect going on at the top. You've got the B-Link logo in the middle and you've got the Intel Core i3 sticker. On the front, we have two USB 3 ports, a USB type C port, headphone jack and a physical power button. Now you also got what looks like a reset hole and it says underneath clear CMOS. On the side, we've got some vents. And on the back, you have a gigabit LAN, two USB 3 ports, dual HDMI 4K outputs, and a power socket. And if we keep going, you've got more vents and a micro SD card slot, and this takes up to 128 gigs. And that brings us back to the front, and this is what the bottom of the box looks like. Now let's quickly go through the specs. Now this mini PC is powered by the Core i3, 10110U dual core clocked at 2.10 gigahertz. Graphics are shared. You have the Intel Ultra HD 620. You've got eight gigs of DDR4 RAM, which is upgradable to 64 gigs. You've got a 256 gig M.2 NVMe SSD installed, and that's also upgradable to two terabytes. You've got a spare two and a half inch SATA caddy, and it will support drives up to two terabytes. This supports Wi-Fi 6, AX, and you've got a gigabit LAN. You've also got Bluetooth 5.1, four USB 3 ports, Windows 10 Professional. You've got dual heat pipes and a large cooling fan. And this does support 4K at 60 FPS. Let's have a quick look at the internals and see all the upgrade options. We've got four screws at the bottom. Let's get them open. All right, taking the lid off. Wow, look at that. Now you have two RAM slots. One slot is occupied by eight gigs of RAM. Total combined RAM supported is 64 gigs. So you could have 32 gigs in each slot. And here is your M.2 NVMe, and that is 256 gig upgradable to two terabytes. And if you do decide to replace the SSD, you would need to reinstall Windows. Now, you might be wondering, where is the caddy for the hard drive? Well, here is the caddy, it's on the lid. So you're gonna put four screws in, secure your hard drive in place, and then you've got one ribbon cable and you've got one SATA attachment. So you're connecting that ribbon to the port, and then you're simply slotting the other part into the back of your hard drive. So you slot that into the back of your hard drive, and then you plug the other end of the ribbon into this port here. And I'll show you where this goes on the board. So right next to the MVME, you have a socket over here and you attach that ribbon cable directly in there and secure it into place. So it's not that difficult to install your own hard drive and the clear instructions are provided in case you're not sure. So you really can't go wrong. And this will support any SATA hard drive. You can even use an SSD. So those were your quick and easy upgrade options. So it's future proof for sure. Now you've got dual heat sinks and a large cooling fan, but to access it, I would have to open four more screws and lift the motherboard out, which I'm not gonna do at the moment. All right, so let's close this. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this mini PC took 36 seconds to fully boot up from a cold start. And here is a quick look at the OS. So this is the full version of Windows 10 Professional. It comes with all the usual Windows apps you would expect to find, including the Windows App Store, so you can download all your favorite apps and games. So this is basically a full PC experience in a compact size. This system is powerful enough to run all your regular Windows applications, and you can also play quite a few games from the Windows Store, including Modern Combat 5. 
and here's a quick look at the system properties so you can see windows 10 professional we've got the intel core i3 um, clocked at 2.10 gigahertz 8 gigs of ram 64-bit operating system and it's already activated and ready to use all right on to the system storage info we have 256 gigs of internal storage from which there are 237 gigs which are usable and from that we have 206 gigs free to use and the second drive you can see is my 64 gig flash drive which i just connected and we've got all my 4k samples on there um, which contains all my 4k samples um, and that is the next thing we're going to test so let's go ahead and play some 4k video samples from a usb drive and see how this mini pc performs so first video high bitrate 4k jellyfish demo it's 160 megabits per second file and it plays absolutely fine i also tried the 180 megabits per second file and that also played very well and i even tested out the 400 megabits per second video sample and that also played good so high bitrate 4k plays quite well in this system so next up we're testing out some regular 4k at 60 fps video files Okay, so time to check out some 4K streaming on YouTube. You're a science teacher. Your husband, he renovates house. So next up, I loaded up Netflix from the web browser and I was able to stream a maximum of 1080p. And make anti-venom. But one day, unloading his cat now moving on to some gaming we're going to be playing some asphalt 9 and i've also maxed out the graphics to the highest setting now let's see how this game performs Here are the results for the Wi-Fi speed test. We achieved download speeds of 55 and our upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. And this is typically the top speeds we achieve in this office. And here is a quick look at the CPU benchmark score by Passmark. And as you can see, we have a score of 4047. So let's see how this compares to the others. So here is my top performing mini PC chart for 2022, allowing you to compare the specs, prices and features. So the B-Link SEI 10 has taken position 5 on this chart with a Passmark score of 4047. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the B-Link SEI 10 offering a decent build quality and design. A major plus point for this mini PC is the ability to upgrade. You can upgrade the RAM, the M2 SSD and also add an additional 2.5 inch SATA drive. Performance is pretty good. Windows 10 Pro is fully licensed and activated. You have convenient access to the ports on the front and the rear. And I like having a physical power button on the front. Type-C port is a bonus and so is the micro SD card slot. You also have Wi-Fi 6 and Gigabit LAN. So pretty good connectivity and expansion options. Other than that, this is a solid option for your general web browsing, office applications, Word, Excel, etc. Also, coding, graphics, and even light 1080p video editing handled well on this mini PC. Basic gaming from App Store, Asphalt 9, Candy Crush, all worked fine. But don't expect to run AAA games on this mini PC as it has only Intel shared graphics. But nevertheless, you can still stream AAA games from services like Stadia, PlayStation Now, etc. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this one. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.